Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Before you watch today's video, please subscribe us. If you always follow our channel, you may know that. There is no doubt that chips have become the basis for the development of many industries today, and even a favorable guarantee for improving productivity. In the more than half a century since the development of the chip industry, Although the time span is not small, we can also see an interesting rule. That was the first 30 years, mainly the era of chip design. The focus of chip development was to establish the original architecture of the chip. Many of the chips we use now are actually the foundation built at that time, such as the CMOS process. In the second 30 years, the development of the chip industry began to move towards chip manufacturing. To be precise, it was the front link of chip manufacturing. Because of the emergence of third-party chip foundries, the chip industry began to flourish. Wafer chip IC companies have sprung up all over the world. The first 30 years created Intel the second 30 years created TSMC and ASML, and now, entering the third 30 years, we are already in the midst of change. Middle In fact, the emergence of every era of chip revolution is to solve the problem of the continued prosperity and development of the chip industry. The current development of the chip industry is also the same. In short, the improvement of chip performance is compared with the cost. There has been a serious disproportionate situation. Taking the 4 nanometers process as an example, this is not a cross-generational node, but an improved version of the 5 nanometers process, but despite this, the Apple A16 chip using the 4 nanometers process adopts a more optimized architecture and more advanced LPDDR5 memory. Afterwards, the performance improvement is only about 14%. If these factors are excluded, the performance improvement of the A16 chip by the 4 nanometers process may not even be 10%, but the cost is 2.4 times that of the A15 chip using the 5 nanometers process. There is also the RTX 4090 graphics card recently launched by NVIDIA. The GPU chip of this graphics card also uses a 4 nanometer process, and the price is as high as 12,999 yuan. Today, the RX 7900 XTX graphics card released by AMD uses a 5 nanometer plus. 6 nanometer solution. The price is less than 8,000 yuan, but the difference in performance is not big, but it has a leading advantage in some test items. It can be seen from these two cases that there has been such a large cost difference with only 4 nanometers process, but there is no obvious improvement in performance. And ASML also said that after the high NAE UV lithography machine, considering the cost, the numerical aperture of the objective lens will no longer be able to be improved. That is to say, the development of EUV lithography machine has encountered a bottleneck in the future. In the words of the chief technology officer of ASML, the lithography technology may have come to an end. So to sum up, chip technology can develop, but the speed is much slower, but the cost has doubled, which is not feasible in business. So what should we do? As we mentioned above, the development of the chip industry has gone through two main historical stages of chip design and chip manufacturing. Now it is entering the third historical stage. Chip packaging to be precise, called advanced packaging, is the aftermath of chip manufacturing. Dow Program 
The GPU of AMD's newly released RX 7900 XTX graphics card mentioned above actually adopts heterogeneous integration technology. Through the results of advanced packaging, we can see that the cost has dropped significantly, but the performance is still good, and this requires speaking of our protagonist today. Tongfu Microelectronics is currently the fifth largest advanced packaging giant in the world. AMD is a long-term customer of Tongfu Microelectronics. It has been signed for five years before and now for another five years. AMD's chip packaging is mainly completed by Tongfu Microelectronics. Shanghai Microelectronics previously stated that it has successfully delivered the first advanced packaging lithography machine. There is no doubt that this provides a foundation for us to develop the advanced packaging industry. Now Tongfu Microelectronics has another good news. It said that the world's top 20 semiconductor chips and the vast majority of domestic well-known IC design companies have become Tongfu Microelectronics customers. It is reported that Tongfu Microelectronics' seventh factory has been put into use with a total number of about 20,000 employees. The total production area exceeds 1 million square meters. So we see that advanced packaging has become a new engine for the development of the chip industry. Currently, Intel and TSMC are investing heavily in advanced packaging technology. For the development of our domestic chip packaging manufacturers, ASML probably did not expect it to be so fast. There is no doubt that this has put pressure on ASML, because advanced packaging is mainly to reduce the use of advanced technology. In fact, such a situation has already occurred. There are some clues, such as ASML's next-generation high NA EUV lithography machine. From the data that ASML has announced, five customers have ordered, but the current order will not exceed 10 units. And recently, the US core giant Micron also said that it has broken through new technologies and realized that there is no need to rely on EUV lithography machines in the manufacture of one memory particle chips. TSMC has also recently established a 3D alliance, which is also in advanced packaging. Effort. Therefore, we conclude that the development of advanced packaging has become the consensus of the industry and we have undoubtedly seized the opportunity this time. We are in the world's first echelon in terms of equipment and manufacturing technology. If you think the video is funny, please give us a thumb and subscribe our channel.